Okay, it's the start of part 22. Just made it to Amphitrite City. Uh, welcome to Amphitrite City, the city by a lake. <laughs> While you're here, be sure to check out our gym. It's sure to be a tough challenge. Okay, we got gym time. Let's see, how about you people? Uh, I heard a rumor about rare and legendary Pokemon migrating to Tauren. I wonder why that is. Why is it about the... What is it about the region that seems to bring them here? It's kind of an interesting concept. Instead of just always being in the same region that they're from, they actually migrate. Would you be interested in taking my competitive quiz? There's a prize if you get it all right. Okay, it's just four questions. I didn't get to say yes or no. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, what... Uh, that was the first question, you know, whether you were interested. Okay. You're doing so, so great so far. Second question, which of these Pokemon is the slowest? Slowpoke, Rock and Rolla, Geodude, or Trampinch? I'd say Geodude or Rock and Rolla? You'd think it'd be Slowpoke, though. Let's say Slowpoke. Nope. Okay. I feel like that was the obvious answer, but it's not right. So Geodude? Ah, damn it. Is it Rock and Rolla? Are you serious? Is Trap Inch? I didn't realize Trap Inch was that slow. Huh. Okay, question three. Which of these natures would hinder Jolteon? Oh, okay. Uh. Jolly. No. Yes, Jolly. Uh, Quirky wasn't great either, but it would. Yeah, it wouldn't have hindered it. It was just neutral, yeah. Uh, okay, last question. That's This one's a tough one. What happens to water moves when a Charizard Dite Y, holding Charizard, enters the fray? What happens to water moves? They weaken for five turns? Or are they... It's not eight. But it is sunny day. They not they don't evaporate, because that would be... It'd be extremely harsh one, right? So it's, never mind. Evidently, it's the extremely harsh one. Where is it? Eight? Is it eight turns? Fuck me if I fucking know these specifics. Oops, I clicked too fast. This better be fucking worth it. <laughs> okay, so Trap Inch is the slowest. Jolly is the worst nature. Yeah, okay, okay so it's eight turns. I, I didn't think it was the evaporate one. Okay, so... Trap Inch... It's good that you can always just do this multiple times. Jolly. I didn't realize it was eight turns. What? Was there a fourth option and I'm just retarded? What what happened? <laughs> Trap inch. Damn it! Stop clicking so fast! <laughs> yes. And trap inch. Good. Jolly. Great. Nothing, evidently. Nicely done. It was a trick question. I said when it enters the battlefield, not when a Mega evolves. Oh, shut up. Isn't it the same thing you said? Well, that was a trick question. Fuck you. <laughs> Thanks for participating. Use your price. Dream Mist? What the hell is Dream Mist? A Dream Mist is very rare. It only comes from Unovan Musharna. It has some special properties, but you'll need to see a Dream Guru for that. Thanks again. Yeah, shut up. A Dream, dream Mist, though? What the hell do I need that for? I'm probably never going to even use that shit. Where is it? Yeah, a Mystic Mist from Musharna. It has a mysterious power if used correctly. Well, whatever. Maybe I need it, maybe I don't. Okay. Um, How about you? I've been trying to fish in the ponds around town, but nothing so far. I guess they need to be more than an inch deep to find fish. And other nudes, water is wet. Thank you for letting me know that water is wet. Alright, um... <laughs> Amphitrite City is my favorite place in the region. Everyone's so peaceful and friendly here. I feel like there's one of those people in every town. Oh, shit, who's this? ADHTN man, there you are. I have been looking all over for you. This is Calreath. He's the gym leader of Ampetrite. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. 
<laughs> You've already met my girlfriend, Diana, as she called... Oh, yeah. <laughs> she called ahead and told me to expect you. I've been looking all over for you, too. I've heard all the stories. Kids uh, who took down a cult? It's a bit embarrassing, really. We gym leaders should really be helping you out. It's true. I wonder why you guys are just sitting on your asses, but whatever. I plan on it. Diana and I would love to join you two if you're willing. Okay. But I can help you out much better by introducing you to someone. When I was younger, I lived in the Aroma region. Where the hell's that? My best friend and I were accomplished Pokemon trainers, and I guess someone took notice. We were both chosen by Pixie Pokemon. Oh. My friend was chosen by Victini, and I, Manaphy. Oh, sweet. I think I'm about to get my heart stamp ability. He works for someone else now. I promised him I'd let him know if I found anyone else chosen by the Pixies. I'd appreciate it if you two could see him. He has an interest in you. There's a cave in the lake to the south. Just continue through and you can't miss it. I promise you you're on the same side. I promise you you're on the same side? You mean we're on the same side? <laughs> you have a common... Uh, we have a common enemy and he said he had something to give you. Come see me when you get back. I run the gym here, after all. You can have your challenge. Oh, okay. That first, then gym. You can get your badge, and we can discuss strategy. Sound good? Good. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a nice conversation he had with himself. <laughs> it's, it's true. I'm curious, though. I'm going to head into the cave. I know I shouldn't trust him so easily, but if he really was chosen by Manaphy, he can't be that bad, right? I hope. Uh, it'd be nice if you could join me, though. Hopefully I'm not walking into a trap. Jeez, we really can't trust anyone, can we? I'll see you in the cave. Okay, I'll join you. Once we get that Manaphy ability, too, that'd be a good time to go back and find even a few more Deltas and stuff, too, because there's a few things that you can get once the uh, you get that Manaphy ability as well. A piece of junk TV is barely ever on. It's always showing static. There's a constant war between the rain and the engineers who repair it. <laughs> You'd think they just p put a roof over it. Of course, the one time per month that it does work, everyone pays rapt attention. Usually when it's on, the messages are important, so we have to see them. Is there a big TV, like, up here or something? What is he talking about? Oh yeah, look at that. Cool, I guess. There's a big item, or there's an item back there. Can I run back there? Oh, it's probably the other way, I guess. Okay. Hello? It's nice to sit and relax after a long day of work, you know? Man, I've been terrorizing kids all week on beat. <laughs> okay. Everyone plays and catches Pokemon now that it's popular again. They're not real fans, just bandwagoners. I mean, there's probably a percentage of people that are just bandwagoners. She's, uh, this person's not wrong. Clearly you need to know everything about a thing before you're allowed to be a fan of it. Well, no. <laughs> but it's true that a lot of people just jump onto things when things become popular, rather than, like, being into it when it first came out. But they have every right to be into it as well. You should definitely challenge Calwreath while you're here. He might look like a pushover, but he's one tough challenge. Sure, by the way, he's gonna be the seventh gym? Okay, not bad. We're, we are definitely getting there. Little Umbreon. Uh, hello? Hey, listen, can you give me a hand? One of my Pokemon, well, it escaped. It ran off into the wild of Route 14. It should be available just in the tall grass around there. There was a level 25 Hypno. It was really special to me. There's no other Hypno like that in the world. Okay, if I happen to fucking do that. Let's see. I heard the champion of the Tauren region is this super mysterious figure that only shows up once in a while. Hmm? The thing is, hardly anyone's beaten the Elite Four, so nobody ever challenges them. Can't wait for someone to finally get there. Yeah, good point. I remember that. Finally, we'll know who the champion is on live TV. <laughs> okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. Let's see what you got to say. It's okay. You can date me if you want. I'm not a minor. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> these, these damn puns. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Hey, listen, you're a trainer. Hopefully this will help you out. Oh, a life orb. Dude, I've got like three of those now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank me later. Okay. Thanks. Ooh, and a rare candy. That was random. This is like a full restore, I think. Nice. 
And flamethrower. Whoa. Cool. Flamethrower behind the building. Not bad. Wait a minute. I was going to say flamethrower would be great right now for my frost slides. There it is. Um, ooh, Pidgey, I can learn it too. Interesting. It is a dragon, I guess. Um, because I've got Lava Plume, which does 80, but Flamethrower does 90. Uh, because Fiery Dance also does 80. Does everything fucking do 80, except for Eruption? Yeah, 80, 80, 80. Um, because I like that Fiery Dance can increase my uh, special attack stat. So yeah, let's get rid of Lava Plume for Flamethrower just to do that little bit of extra damage. I know Lava Plume can hit multiple Pokemon, but we really don't do, um multiple battles that often for like the really important stuff so cool now oh, who are you I tried hiking up Mount Rose but it was a nightmare traveling up there and now they've got border patrol uh no ying what okay Mount Rose is that direction huh was that a master ball over there what the fuck Anyway, would you like to trade Pokemon? I'll trade you my Delta Shuckle for a Bulbasaur. Didn't realize there was a Delta Shuckle right here, but I do not have a Bulbasaur. That'll be cool. Definitely go do that. Oh, that's bullshit. I hate this game for that. You cannot get down there. They just troll you so fucking often with good-ass shit. That is a Master Ball down there. But you can't get down there. There's no way to get down there. So, yeah, fuck you, creators. You fucking trolling bastards. You know I've been, uh, second-guessing the auger. Please don't tell anyone, it's nothing big. Just like little things, you know, not, not anything big. Like his taxing policies, I mean, you know what? Forget I said anything. Praise him, I love him so much. Nah, you are right, you are right. Say, youngster, I'll make you a deal. Always been interested in the myth of the Jin. If you can show me the Jin, I will provide you with its lamp. How does that sound to you? Well, that's cool and all, but I don't, I don't, I haven't seen the Jins yet. Uh, yo, you down to trade? I've got a Pokemon I want to give away. I'll trade you my Noibat for any Dark type. Okay, well, I don't, I don't need a Noibat, so you can keep it. I dyed my hair to match the theme of the city. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Oh, that's great. Free escape rope. What about these two? You got anything for me? Nope. There's a lot of people to talk to in this town. Um, I went traveling in that cave to the south, but there wasn't much interesting there. Sure, there were a few pretty crystals, but the cave kind of just ends. There's nothing interesting down there. It's a shame. It's such a pretty place. Well, that's my place I need to go, so. First time I've actually seen the uh, Pokemon Center in this town. Try to get up the stairs and buy a few items. Okay. Um, let's get back up to 20 Super Potions. And 20 Hypers if I can afford it. Mm -hmm. Just barely. Need, uh, like. Oh. What happened? Okay, there we go. Uh, I just need some Paralyze Heals, I think? Yeah. Like six of those. Okay. Down to $6,500. Not great, not great. But we got, we got our items stocked up again. Let's see. I've been growing berries in these bushes for some time. There's really not much, but what I have to share... Oh, what I... <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> but what I have is to share. Please help yourself. Chesto. That's nice. Pizza. Person. Rost. Wappa. And an orange berry. Oh. oh, they just moved in or something. There are a lot of urban myths about the cave and the lake to the south. Uh, people say they can see the spirits of incredible trainers. Of course, that's a, lo a load of baloney. They probably just saw people who look like them. Okay. After we got engaged, my hubby and I moved out here. A lot of people don't, uh, but I really love it here in Amphitrite. 
It's such an atmospheric place, especially when the uh, damp floor all the time, it leaks. <laughs> I lied, I loathe it here. <laughs> okay. Alright, already talked to you. There's the peak taxi guy. Can I turn in a piece of his quest? Oh, excellent. We'll see. I have a small garage in Torin, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I gotta find the second one first. And then I can turn both pieces in. What the hell? Okay. Burn heal. Did I talk to that person over there? I don't think so, because that's where the gym is. Come here. I saw somebody in this town selling an egg. I wonder why there are so many shady egg dealers in this region. Good, good, good point. I've seen one in almost every town with a gym. Is he in here now? Is that what he's saying? Last night I was at a charity ball and got to meet Yuki. You know, from the Elite Four, she's beautiful. I'm honestly a bit jealous. How can someone be so amazing and talented? Okay. Got a little information on the, uh... Elite Four there. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Admin Giovanni the Wise? No? <laughs> I thought not. It's not a story the gym leaders would tell you. It's a Team Rocket legend. Okay. Giovanni was a leader of Team Rocket, so powerful and wise he could use science to influence DNA and create life. Okay, but actually, have you never heard of Team Rocket or Giovanni? No, I have. You really should read a book. That kind of ignorance isn't healthy. Jeez. Uh, let me give you a tip in competitive battling. If you lose, always blame the RNG. <laughs> They'll make you look good in the eyes of your opponent and less of a baby, I promise. Yeah, yeah. You know, definitely don't always blame the RNG, but sometimes the RNG really does fuck you. you gotta revive. Fucking Master Ball. Okay. Um. I guess a hacker could get down there, right? I believe this is the lake they were talking about. So I need to go into a cave? There it is. Oh, cool. It's pretty in here. Do these do anything? Doesn't seem like it. These seem like they're going to do something, but... Can't tell. There's a relic mark. What's this? I love how pretty it is in this cave. I just wish we could get further in. It's blocked off by rocks deeper in. Oh! Well, maybe we can with Tesseract or something. Hiker Eric would like to battle. Hmm. Okay, Hiker Eric, I can do that. I'll give you a Dark Pulse. Why did it live with 1 HP? That happens a lot. Wow. Special attack while Mega Vault is 262. That's really not bad. Uh, yeah, you can, keep, you can keep battling against a Golem. Let's try the Dracon Voice. Not bad. That hurt. I lived. So finish it off with the Dark Pulse. Okay, what else? Uh, Crocodile. Let's switch for that one. Crocodile can be handled with... We'd either do Gardevoir or Bisharp. But Bisharp's pretty slow. Let's do Gardevoir. And uh, an Ice Beam. Swoosh! Well, it works for me. Uh, uh, potion time. Um, let's see. Haxorus is the one behind at the moment at 70. Let's put him in front. Another free Ultra Ball. That's always good. Doesn't seem like there's any Pokemon in here. Uh, some of the Pokemon you can find in here are incredible. I wish I could catch them all. I guess there is Pokemon in here. I just haven't found any. Ah, uh, the Pokemon Maniac Tony. Perfect timing. It's not going to do much. I can Ice Fang. Hehe. <laughs> What else you got? Needle Queen? Keep it coming. Ice Fang that one too. Ooh, almost. Oh, uh. 
and a Nido King. All right, we'll switch for that one since the same thing will probably happen. We'll use Gardevoir on this one. Uh, Ice Beam with a Mega Evolution just to make sure. Nice. And of course, another potion. Anything else up here? Well, I missed an item on that side. Damn it. I guess I'll go back around. Here's a Sableye, but... I mean, it makes sense for the cave, but I don't want a Sableye. I already have one. Oh, Miss Magius. Okay. But again, I already have one. Now I'm finding Pokemon once he said it. Never mind. <laughs> Can't get up there. I wonder what that item is. I love that they put Pokemon in here that had, like have those little gems on them. Yeah, Carbink as well. Oh, I love it. Um, the music stopped. Here's the full heal. Oh, maybe. All right, all right, I get it. Stop it. <laughs> Can't do that yet. All right. Uh. What an incredible place, eh? I love coming down here to relax and just admire the crystals. Uh, Beauty Gen with a giraffe for it. Okay. Crunch. GG. You got any more? Lilligant? Okay. Ice Fang. Or Poison Fang. Uh, Ice Fang's stronger. GG. What else you got? Nothing over there. Might be something up here. Oh, Tesseract. Save before this one. This is the um, going back in time one I was talking about in the last part. So Tesseract. And now I'm back in time. So it's changed a little bit. So now you can't go up that way. But where am I going? Where does it want me to go? Where does it want me to go? This way? Okay. A full restore from the past. Was that it? Because I can't get out. Was that really it? Just for a full restore? That doesn't seem right. I traveled in the past just for a full restore. I guess. Alright. That one was kind of lame. Gotta admit. <laughs> sure, though. I mean, it's not like it's a big deal, but it kind of sucks. Alright. Was hoping for something cooler. Hmm. Can't go that way. Wait a minute. Do I use Tesseract to... Hold on. Hold on. I think it's about getting around the crystals. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So if you do... Oops. If you do Tesseract... Okay. And then I think if you go to the other side of these crystals and undo Tesseract, maybe here is good enough? You have to be close to this thing. No. Yep. And now you're on the other side. That's what it's mainly for. That makes a lot of sense. It's not just the full restore. It has to do with the story. Oh, that's cool. Um, all right. Nothing up there. Go away, save a lie. And in the door. Alright, we got a bunch of freaking uh, strength rocks. The only one that looks like I can move first is... Excuse me, excuse me. This one. This one. Okay. Um... Is that a crystal rock climb? <laughs> what the hell? That's cool. Yeah, still can't do that. That was wee. 
Grumpig. Oh, look, a bunch of fucking rocks. Oh, boy. Let's figure out how to do this. Let's see. Um, hmm. This seems plenty complicated. Is it complicated, or am I just thinking too much about it? Yep, thinking too much about it. Like usual. Jeez, I thought they said there wasn't much to this cave. It sure seems longer than they said. I mean, I get that most people can't get back past the crystals that I did, but still. Okay, there's Nora. There's not much further. I can see the end of the cave up here. Oh, here we go. Wait, you two kids, are you the ones who I'm supposed to see? Is that a king? <laughs> you know, back in my day, you had to be an adult to go on adventures. But then again, you were an adult at 14. Things change, I suppose. Nora, ADHD man, those are your names, right? Who wants to know? <laughs> you might want to be more careful, youngster. That answer was as good as a yes. It's true. You might know of me, um, but it doesn't particularly matter who I am. Plus, we've been less than cautious in the past, and it didn't end well. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I shouldn't be talking to you about this, for goodness sake, your kids. But I trust Calreath. If he says you're ready, then I won't say who I am. What? However, I will explain what I stand for. Then I'm going to give you a parting gift. It'll help. Trust me. Okay. I work for a very selective group of trainers to guard a very old secret. Uh, you see, you're not the only ones uh, who suppose or who oppose to these cults. When it comes to legendary Pokemon, especially ones like Dialga and Palkia, the reality becomes less concrete. Dialga has been known in the past to mess up, mess with time, causing events that weren't supposed to happen. But not everything they do is accidental. One Pokemon sits above all others in the Hall of Origin, of course. Arceus gathered some of the strongest trainers from all over the re uh, Earth and even from different times to guard its most prized possession. A crystal. One with enough energy to make and remake worlds. Is that the crystal that we've been dealing with this whole time? <laughs> A crystal like the one the Augur has or had? The one and only. It has unthinkable power. Great. <laughs> we faked our deaths. We couldn't guard the crystal 24-7 and still live publicly. We were to guard it while Arceus sleeps, so that one that no one person could ever hold such power. I lied. I pretended I was corrupted and lost, and abdicated the throne of the Aroma region to join them. Oh. Stephen Stone faked some bizarre death with his Metagrossite. Hey, Stephen Stone, nice. Our leader simply stopped visiting Mount Silver. Oh, that's Red. I didn't know Red would be here, that's cool. And he's their leader. That's fucking awesome. We gave up everything to guard this crystal. Uh, Arceus gave us this task. Clearly, it was a big deal. And we failed. It wasn't the first Augur's fault. It was ours. He was charming and convincing. The crystal could be used for good, he said. The cults had to go. It was for the best of Torin. So was the first Augur not a good guy either? We agreed. Who wouldn't? But then he lost, and now the crystal is shattered in the hands of humans. Uh, kids, there are forces, one in particular I am thinking of, that could be way more dangerous than the cults should they get their hands on this crystal. You two weren't chosen by Pixie Legendaries. Actually, we were. <laughs> Except for the creation Pokemon, the legendaries of this world were made to serve Arceus, and most remain loyal to it. The Pixies in particular are its messengers. They weren't the ones who chose you, if you catch my drift. Oh, I see what he's saying. Uh, you two are already fighting the cults. I won't ask any more of you, but I just wanted to impress upon you the importance of that crystal. It must be returned to this cavern. We're able, we're able to defend it. Uh, Jaren has a shard, so does Ruruka uh, and the virus he created. Beat the cults by all means, but they can be defeated at any time. If she gets her hands on these shards, reality as we know it could end. Who is she? I digress. I didn't just call you down here for gloom and doom. Nora was wrong. Mew didn't join you to protect you. It stayed away so you would grow stronger in its absence. Oh, that makes sense. That's why I haven't been able to use it at all. You had lost your memories, remember? True. I don't know who the fuck I am. I just was kidnapped by this lady. 
You needed to redevelop your battling skills all over again, but now I think you have proven yourself. There's a visitor here for you, an old friend. Just across the lake, it's waiting for you. Oh shit, this is cool. Well, save it real quick, because I don't know when I'm going to be able to save again. Uh, just across the lake, huh? Oh, there's another one of those things, whatever the fuck that is. Great carbon. Can I, can I, you leave me alone, please? Okay, well, there's nothing over there. Alright, what's going on in here? Hello? Is it just Mew? What the fuck is happening? Okay, it's Mew. Can I catch it now? It's Mew. Hi, Mew. Oh, okay, now I can save it. Um, let's send out, uh, Pidgeot then, so we can possibly glare it. Yeah, level 70 view. I finally get to catch him. Alright, well, we'll start with the quick ball. These ones do have a catch rate of 45, so it's not as bad as a regular legendary. Ooh, I almost thought it was going to be that easy. Well, it's got the boost already from freaking Ancient Power. Let's glare it, though. Okay. And it's synchronized and a lumberry. Try that again. Try it again. Holy shit, try it again. What the fuck? Paralyzed three times in a row? Try it again. Thank you. Holy balls. What the hell is that about? Okay, full restore. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Alright, um... Definitely don't want a Dark Pulse. We could kill it. Dracon voice might be fine. Oh yeah, we're plenty fine. Ooh. Why don't we even Mega Evolve? I know I get stronger, but... Shouldn't be that much stronger. Okay, if you could hit it, that'd be great. Nice. Again. Nice. Um, we can try to catch from there. I think that's fine. Paralyzed in a good, uh, spot. Ancient Ball would work, because that worked on Legendary and Mythical Pokemon. But I don't think we'll use it on Mew. I feel like that's... should be used on something else. There you go. Right there. Caught ourselves our Mew. Would you like to give a nickname? Nah. Mew is Mew. Well, that was cool. Now that I don't really need Mew, I caught Mew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Alright, what's up? So Mew chose to join you. Uh, that's fantastic. Now you have a powerful ally to fight with you. Not that I didn't already, but thank you. Remember what I've said, that crystal cannot fall into the wrong hands and it absolutely cannot be reassembled by anyone else. This should be your number one priority. But anyway, you should go now. I'm sure you are, our friend is waiting to hear from... <laughs> Wait, hold on. How can we trust you? And by the way, does Nora not get anything? Only There was only something for me? <laughs> How do we know everything you've said is true? We've uh, met a couple of people who were not exactly honest with us. Cult members. No offense. I'm a bit offended. You, <laughs> you waited this long to ask, actually. She said, no offense, bro. You're not allowed to take offense anymore. <laughs> you shouldn't take anyone at their word. Trust people, but verify. Good work. But I'll show you why you can't tr you can trust me. Come on out, pal. Oh, the Victini. As you can see, I'm no cult member. I'm as safe. I'm as scared as them as you are. Time to go. Your next stop should be the Amphitrite Gym. Calories waiting there for you. Uh, watch out, he's no pushover. Victini, let's get out of here. All right. Yeah, he should have opened with the Victini thing. Jeez, true. ADHD man, I'm not sure what to think about all this. Some shadowy organization chose, chosen by Arceus seems pretty sketchy. But he had a Victini, and the Pixies wouldn't choose a liar, right? Maybe. Our other uh, rival's kind of a bad guy at this point, and he's got Shaman, so who knows, right? I'm going to go talk to Harmony about this. Uh, you can go challenge the gym. I'll meet you afterwards. A gem with unlimited power. I wonder, could it cure... Never mind. Yes, I'm sure it could cure the virus. That's probably what she's thinking. Uh, let's get a escape rope and get the fuck out. 
<laughs> it's in here. There we go. It only took me to there. It's stupid and annoying, but okay, fine. It's mostly the way out. Like, if you're gonna escape rope, escape all the way out of the fucking cave. That was silly. Alright. Let's go battle the gym. Get our seventh gym under wraps. Where's the... Po oh. I ran the wrong way. It's right here. Uh, what is the gym? Is it gonna be water type because of the theme of the town? If it is, uh, we have Gardevoir. Uh, hopefully that's the case. Put Pie Sharp up here. Um, not really sure what it's gonna be. Let's find out, I guess. And hopefully get the Manaphy ability as well. Looks waterish. It's raining inside, so. Let's see. What's good, champ? Welcome to Amphitrite. The leader here, Calreath, runs a rain themed gym. Okay. Just swim your way over. Take this for luck. If it's rain themed, that means there could be, you know, electric types as well, I suppose. Best of luck there, champ. Alright, thanks. Uh, which, which way does it matter? Oh, okay, there's just people. Oh, and diving spots. That's weird. Okay. You'll never get to Calorith. You'll lose right here. I doubt that. Karen. Of course Karen said that. <laughs> Okay, uh, Thunderbolt. Agility. Okay, you're fast, but now you're dead. <laughs> oh, 72. Uh, Tentacruel. Yeah, keep it going. Thunderbolt. Nice. Even took out the Tentacruel in one hit. Uh, Samurott. Impressive. But but also fainted. No problem. What else you got? A lantern. Okay, lantern can absorb my moves. Um... This ice beam wouldn't do very much against it either. Should we use Haxorus? I'm thinking Haxorus. <clears throat> I don't think it has anything... But, well, no, it's got electric moves against me. I didn't think of that. But Crunch? Yeah. I just went for the charge. It's a beautiful thing. GG. Good job, Hatchers. Um, doesn't look like there's anything there. There's a person. I love battling in the water. It's so much fun. And good for you. <laughs> Lola has a hunt tail. Alright. Thunderbolts incoming. It was faster. Gardevoir, you got up that speed. Gorbus, all right. Ow! Fuck my ass, man. What the fuck? I know it's raining, but jeez, man, I hate that. Take it easy. I didn't realize Gardevoir was slow enough. I mean, I guess this is like Gorbus and stuff. have anything good against Haxorus, though, just the basics. Aha! <laughs> there we go. Good job, Haxorus. It's definitely good to have him along. Okay. Just goes to show you, even if you're prepared, you can still get wrecked. Uh, max potion for Haxorus and... Hyper Potion for Guard of War. Is everybody at 72? I uh, don't know. Bisharp is at 71. But I have an average of 72 because uh, Venusaur is 73. Do I need to start diving? I'm not sure. I'm just going to keep going. Uh, you're not going anywhere. Get set to get decked. <laughs> okay. Hylia? Oh, Crawdon. Um, yeah, Crawdon should be fine to battle. Thunderbolt. Just 
Skadoosh. Almost 73. A cloister. That should be fine. So far, it's just pure water, basically. It's not like electric types mixed in, so that's kind of nice. Gardevoir wants to learn thunder. I'm going to say... Ooh, should I say yes just for this gym? <laughs> because it's raining. And then teach myself Thunderbolt afterwards. Because I already know... Ah, just, no. That's too much thinking. <laughs> and a Quagsire. Okay. Quagsire. They don't have grass moves. Um, Hexorus is I, uh, Ice Fang, though. That'll work a bit. Okay, the mist. Almost. And he didn't do much. Okay. <laughs> How we looking? Pretty good. How many Thunderbolts do we have left? Nine? Okay, that's not bad. Now where am I going? Maybe I dive here? No. Okay, I guess I gotta go back to the, these diving spots and see where the hell I'm supposed to actually go. Oh, hello. Blah ha ha. <laughs> I'm evil, and you're going down. Okay. Shouldn't he be a diver and not a swimmer? Um, but okay. It's a Swampert. It's probably going for that, uh, ground-type move against Gardevoir. I'm gonna send in Bisharp. Yeah. Okay. We shall Mega Evolve. And Tailwind. Hammer Arm. Not a biggie. Cool beans, power punch. Take down, okay. Let's go and heal then. Beautiful. Alright, send out who's next. It's a wish kosh, that makes sense. Power up punch again. Even stronger. Future sight, that's a bummer. Power punch to finish that one off. And then we're prepared for the last one. Ludicolo. We'll just... Oh, actually, we'll sky drop this one. That's a good idea. No. Okay. I was hoping I'd avoid sky, um, future sight by being in the sky, but that didn't work. But I survived anyway. So it's all good. Um, Hyper Potion. Right over there. Cool. So yeah, everybody is 72 now. On Gardevoir 73, along with Venusaur. Okay, is this where I need to be? No. <laughs> where the fuck do you go for the gym leader? Huh? <laughs> is it this one? Must be this one. Yep. I'm going to show you uh, what it's like to battle underwater. Ah, fine sire again. Okay. Bye sharp again. You went for the rain dance, that's fine. Um, we'll go for the tailwind again. He went for the haze, that's fine. Power punch. Power punch again. What else you got now? Gosh, I love how Bisharp works. It's really nice. Politoed? We'll stay because, I mean, we're doing good work already. Let's try to drain punch this one. Because that thing can be powerful. The wind stopped blowing. That's fine. It's a Polyrath. That's fine. We'll use Sky Drop on it. Nyom. That's 73 for Bisharp. And a Ludicolo. Another sky drop. Nice, dude. Cool. Well, we have a little method down for this gym, I think. Now we're... Oh. Another trainer. 
You'll never take down this gym. You'll lose here. What kind of gym is this? It's all under water and shit. Miguel with a bi bar. All right. Um, Thunderbolt. Let's just send out Melodic. Okay. We'll go ahead and uh, Mega Evolve now to do the Thunderbolt since it's Melodic. Nice. What else you got? Gastrodon. I. <laughs> you know what? I'll just stay. I've got Ice Beam. Mm, not enough. But it only used Rain Dance. There we go. Is the uh, the gym leader actually underwater, or is am I gonna pop out at some point here? Holy shit! Okay, here we go. All right, I found him. So, should we start with Bi Sharp? Because he might start with the fact that, you know, he thinks I'm gonna use electricity against him. I think that might be a good choice, but we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. ADHD man, it's good to see you. How was your uh, meeting? I see. He gave me the same speech a while ago. That's how I was able to meet my partner. Listen, he's a bit intense. I trust him, though. I hope you do, too. And anyways, are you ready for a battle? I'm anxious to get started. Ahem. Greetings, Challenger. My name is Cowreath. <laughs> my gym isn't just a water gym. I focus on water in every possible way. The ocean, the lakes, the rivers. And yes, even the rain that fills them. The rain is one of the most important natural forces in the world keeps the world alive and healthy, and keeps the water cycle going. But it's also one of the most destructive, and I'm about to show you why. So let's do it. Alright, yeah, cool. You're about to get washed away. Okay, starting with a Politoed, level 74. I don't know if we should Mega Evolve the Bisharp, but it might be a good idea. He actually did start with Politoed, and it seems to already be raining. Hmm. Let's just try a power-up punch. Oh, he went for the Mega Evolve immediately. With an Ice Beam. Okay. Well, that was the test to see what he sends out first. Yeah, I think we'll just get Gardevoir in there at this point. It might be slower, but I'd like to get a Calm Mind off. Cool. Now a Thunderbolt. Nice! Mega Evolve is down. Level 74. Excellent. Kabutops. Yeah, let's keep it going. Oh, if he's faster, we're in trouble. Fuck! I was thinking I'd die from a rock move, not a water move. Ooh, he's got a life orb. Of course he has a life orb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, definitely not Pidgeot, because he could have Ice. Definitely not Frostlass. It's got to be Venusaur. With a Psychic. Oh my gosh, that's so much. Dude, the damage is retarded. Okay, uh, <laughs> Hyper Potion. I mean, that's a lot of damage, man. Oh, Four Star, great. Okay, Psychic again. Okay. And now I'm going to Hyper Potion a few times and try to let him kill himself with his own life orb. You're going to use items, so I'm going to use items. Oh, your folder restored again. Great, Psychic. Can I get the lowering of the special defense, please? Thank you. That way, if I hit, need to hit him again, he'll actually die. There, now he killed himself. Jeez, that Kabutop sucked. Heliolisk? Yeah, there, there's the electric type in the rain. Um, I'm gonna go for Frostlast for now. And it's weak in the rain anyway, so just let's just use this chance to get uh, Venusaur back to full health. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Lilith. No, sir. Not sure why it learned surf, but it does, I guess. Okay. Oops. Let's use the moon blast against this one. It's over half my health. Oh, it's got dry skin, so it's healing from rain. Oh my gosh, this is an annoying gem. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to need to restart just so I don't lose my first Pokemon to the damn ice beam. Um... But for now, we'll continue. It's definitely faster, and it's going to kill me if I leave it in. Since it's surfing, let's send out Haxorus. There's still about half my health. Let's get a Swords Dance and then heal. Perfect. Okay, Hyper Potion's the perfect amount of health. Quite literally. Still surfing. So let's... Yeah, now it's back to full health. Awesome. Let's try that Poison Fang. Nice. Didn't think it was going to kill it, but it did. It did real good. Dragonite. The problem is, is it's probably faster. Let's see what it can do. Hyper Potion. Oh, and a Paralyze. Okay. I did live, though. I did live. Let's full restore real quick and see what it can do. Uh-huh. I'm going to try to get a move in to see if I am faster. I am. Nice. That was awesome. But fucking Dragonite, though. Jeez, man. And a, and a Gudra? Boy. Here's to hoping I'm faster than Gudra, right? Ice Fang. Mmm, it's good. I died anyway because of its aftermath or whatever bullshit, but that's fine. Sound out Pidgeot for whatever it's got left. Manaphy. Okay. Interesting. Let me get that glare in there. Tail glow makes sense for it. Yeah. Hmm. I think I need to use a turn just to heal. Heal Venusaur back up. That's an ouchy scald. <laughs> Ouchies. Try to Dark Pulse. Oh, wait, it fucking healed its glare. Oh, I didn't really even realize. Hmm. I'm definitely in trouble. Okay, I'm slower. Holy shit, it fucking one-shot me with that Scald? Alright, well, like I said, I need to retry. But I was close for the first try. It wasn't, uh, that wasn't the worst. Jeez, man, I trained up to level 70 and I'm still having a rough time. Okay. Now well, it's still fucking Insurgents where they made everything competitive for some reason. Okay. Let's just do it with Gardevoir in front this time. Yeah, shut up. I already heard your speech, bruh. Alright, so let's Mega Evolve and Calm Mind a bit. Since we got this going. Mm -hmm. They can Mega Evolve themselves, of course. And I think I'm faster than Polytoad. Yeah, I am. If they're going to do that, I'm going to try to do this for a little bit and just heal myself. Oh, I got a burn, so that sucks. We'll have to heal now. Full restore on Gardevoir. Okay. Cool. We have a Calm Mind turn again. That was three times. This is four times. And the fifth time. Okay. Now we heal. And we start wrecking face. We're not faster, though, so that's the only problem. I'm assuming the... Whatchamacallit? The Kabutops might still take me out. I have a speed of 196, but that Kabutops is fast. So... 
I either contest it or I send it in anyway. I let it or I let Kabutops send in and see if I can outspeed it, or at least live from its attack. Um, and if not, I could just start over, or I could just switch. So we're gonna test and see if we can get it in. Oh, not with Stone Edge. Oh, okay. Well, that's that then. That I can't do. Um, but we have... Well, the problem is we have Bisharp, but Bisharp is slow. So it will just inevitably die from that. Pidgeot. Could weaken its attack. Haxorus, I think, is what... Well, Venusaur or Haxorus is what can kill it. Let's weaken its attack and try that, because I think the Kabutops is honestly the worst thing against my team. Unfortunately. Okay, it's Swords Dance, so that basically went away. And I got the glare on it. Fuck you with your forest story, son of a bitch. Mm. Okay, Haxorus, get in there. Get a Swords Dance going? Hmm, he went for the full restore, so that works. I'm sure he's still faster. Low kick! It has low kick! Ugh, why does it have low kick? Okay. Let's restart, because that one's already going absolutely horrendous. So now we know, like, no reason to pump Gardevoir. Uh, we just need to kill the uh, Politoed with Gardevoir, and then switch. That thing outspeeds and hits way too hard. To fucking... The only thing I'd be able to do is, you know, risk it by hopefully that Stone Edge missing, but that's way too risky to worry about. Oh, fuck! I... What am I, a dum dum? <laughs> I didn't switch my Pokemon. I forgot. Gardevoir is not in front. Okay. We can do this, damn it. Okay, here we go. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, greetings. It is time for battle. Just shut up and do it. <laughs> okay. We're not even going to Mega Evolve, because it's probably not a good idea. And use that for something else. Okay. And finished it. Great. Gains its level. Now we switch. Okay, we know it can low kick Haxorus. We know Pidgeot is okay against it at first. I can one hit by Sharp. Venusaur is good against it. Frostlass is not. So Pidgeot or Venusaur is the only one good against Kabutops. Let's go for Pidgeot first. Just because I think it's a good idea. We could Mega Evolve this to get that extra damage. But we're going to Glare first. Okay. He'd have to fully restore, so... <sighs> I think this is the right move. Mm, yes! That was perfect. We got the Intimidate again because of the... Mega Evolution, so that worked. Okay, Heliolisk. That little electric turd. Haxorus was a good one against it. Was it? Or am I retarded? I think I'm retarded. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta be more careful with this. Um, Because it's just gonna use an electric move. What am I thinking? Gardevoir might be able to intercept, to be honest. Used Volt Switch. That works. To the Dragonite. Oh, I'm probably not faster, though. Let me try to heal to see what it does to Gardevoir. Earthquake. Of course, this Dragonite knows fucking Earthquake. Mmm, it doesn't make sense. It's it's just made to know everything. Okay. Now, I've got Bisharp in. He's probably going to kill it. 
So I need to use a term and just heal. Mm. Or see if Gardevoir's faster. Because I don't really need to heal. I can heal Pidgeot, if anything. Um, but I'll probably just use Venusaur to take it out. Either that. Well, no, not Hacturus, now that I know it has... It has Thunder and freaking Earthquake. And I know it probably is a Dragon move for Pidgeot as well. I don't want to just see if Gardevoir is faster. I mean, no. I have Bisharp out. What am I saying? Let's Tailwind. I was hoping I could at least get a Tailwind off. That would have helped us. Alright, Venusaur it is then. So, Draining Kiss, because I'm sure it's faster. Yep, Hurricane. That's not going to help us, I don't think. Oh, it's got a weakness policy, too? Holy moly, this shit sucks. Oh my gosh. This is so annoying. Every chance, man. Alright, let's see if it's faster. Oh my gosh, it is. Thank Christ. <sighs> okay. Now we have the Heliolist to deal with. To be honest, let's stay with Gardevoir. Let's just heal. Let's see what it does. Uh, we'll need a max potion for that one. Hyper Voice? Oh, it still does tons of damage, though. Let's try to just get it out. Yeah, okay. That's fucking fast. Hmm. Um... Damn, dude. It's got Surf for Frostlass. It's got an electric move for Haxorus. I gotta send out Pidgeot. With Pidgeot, let's go ahead and heal it. What can you do to Pidgeot? Just Hyper Voice? Just Hyper Voice still does tons of damage! I hate the damage, man! Fuck my butt! Can I, can I fucking get a revive on something that'll actually help me here? Maybe Venusaur instead? It sucks to lose Pidgeot's fucking Mega Evolution, but... I really don't want to try to try this over again, because the variabilities of this battle is really irritating. Uh, let's let it try to kill Frostlass, I guess, since Frostlass is basically just a sacrifice for this battle anyway. Um, while we heal our Venusaur? I mean, Venusaur... Wow, I didn't die. What the hell? Venusaur might be I'm faster. I'm just stupid because it's still a normal type. Um, <laughs> Venusaur might be the best way to go at the beginning of the battle if this one still doesn't work out. Just because of its Mega Evolution's ability. Would have been nice if I got my ability. Come on, Moonblast, work. <laughs> you know, Moonblast could uh, lower its special attack for me. That'd be great. Alright. I don't need that. I really don't need that, especially while you're healing with your damn dry skin over there. Oh my goodness. love how the rain just never goes away either. Yeah. Okay. Interesting switch. Why'd you switch like that, bro? I think I should still be faster. I'll use rest. Well, it's faster. That proves me one thing. But, you know, let's use the... Oh, it... <laughs> okay, it healed its damn sleep. That's great. I rested again, though. How extremely annoying is that? Because it's always just going to heal its freaking status problem. What is the point of this? You're just healing every turn. What the hell? Like, are you serious? Well, I lowered its special attack at least. That's cool. Okay, this is stupid and annoying now. It's just resting over and over. And now it's full restored. <laughs> Stop. It's like I'm battling another online trainer. That is allowed to use items. So annoying. 
What the heck? Okay, now we're back to Heliolisk for whatever reason. Okay, at least that worked. Sure, I'll take it. What the hell? Um, let's start healing again. Yeah, because it's just resting. I don't understand why it's not attacking me with anything. What's the point? All it's doing is resting. I'm getting a free pass. That's the cool part. <laughs> okay. Now I'm back to full health. So it's back to using moon blasts. Oh my god. It's just going to waste all its rests. I don't understand what's the point. Oh, well, now it finally used toxic out of nowhere. It finally decided. Is it going to let me kill it? Oh, and infestation. That's always fun. Okay. Evidently that was a stalling type of Pokemon. And now Manaphy. Okay. Well, we're gonna Antidote. Because we hate Toxic, of course. Tail Glow sucks. Was that the whole point of that? To get me just to focus on the fact that uh, I needed a Tail Glow? Yep, because then it can one-shot me. Ugh. Oh, great, Haxorus. Mmm. Hmm. <laughs> Poison Fang. Oh, wow, I actually live from it, but it burned me, so never mind anyway. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this fucking gym, I swear, dude. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Um, Let's try the idea of putting Venusaur in front, just so we can start stacking its ability. That's an idea. Because it shouldn't have too much trouble with, um, with little Politoed. That's Mega Evolution. Uh, I like how I got rid of Kabutops that time, but I think this is better. I just hope it truly is better. Uh, Moonblast or Psychic? Probably Moonblast. Let's use Psychic, though, just because I think I need Moonblast for <laughs> so many others of his Pokemon. Mm. Skull does a decent amount of damage. And that was the crit? Oh, man. That's not good. Yeah, Draining just doesn't do much, obviously. Um... But it put him within good range of uh, death. Um, Moonblast. There it is. Got the crit. So I got the boost. Uh, Heliolisk. Okay. Let me see if I can heal and outlast a bit. I'm sure that Hyper Voice is incoming. Okay, that's not bad. Um, healing off of that wouldn't be terrible, to be honest. I guess it's not as good as I wanted it to be, unfortunately. We should go for more powerful psychics. Okay, I, we're in good range. That little bit of mega evolving is really nice. Yeah, that Psychic is wonderful. Okay. <sighs> okay, full restored. So we're back to even ground. Cool. Got the Heliolisk as well. And now I got the Hubris Boost. Now he's going to send in Dragonite. Okay. Definitely got to heal again. Hurricane wasn't too bad. So we drain and kiss to keep our health up. Oh fuck, I got confused. You son of a bitch. You lucky fucking son of a bitch. Alright, full restore though. We're okay. We're still okay. Okay, that hurricane didn't confuse. We know we're slower, but draining kiss. 
That is not enough. <laughs> oh, and I forgot about stupid weakness policy. Shh. Don't kill yourself. Okay. We survived, though, and then we got boosted again. Now he's about to send in Kabutops. We're going to have to still say no. Because the idea is to knock it out with this. If it knocks me out, though, we're in big trouble. Yeah, Hyper Potion's still enough. Okay. Okay, that's obviously terrible. Hopefully we can get a strong attack in. Shit, man, it can fucking one-shot me from there just with a waterfall. Ooh, that's horrible. I guess I should have gone for the fucking attack thinking it was going to sword stance, but fuck. All right, send in Pidgeot. Here's a tactic. Send in Pidgeot to cut its attack, right? Then switch to Frostlass so it can take the hit. Okay. That's the sacrifice during this round anyway. Now send, switch back to Pidgeot so we can get its attack lowered again. Now it's back to normal. Now hopefully let's get a glare on it. No kick hurts, but we got our glare. So let's try to get a Dark Pulse so we can flinch it. We didn't get the flinch, but we do have it weak. It's probably just going to full restore though. If it does full restore, we have the opportunity to give it the business. Perfect. Okay. That wasn't terrible. It sucks for the Venusaur. Wow, you're sending out Gudra against Gardevoir? I don't like that it's going to do that. I think we need to start pumping Calm Mind now. Okay, kind of was expecting that. Pump Calm Mind a bit more. First couple turns of Toxic isn't so bad. Now we can antidote it. If I use this toxic, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, I hate that the computer knows what I'm going to do. It's, it's just stupid. So let's full restore this time. Is it going to toxic again? Of course it did. Yeah, that's not... That's what I hate, though. Because, you know, a normal person in a, uh, you know competitive game wouldn't guess that you're going to heal it every single time so it's not going to toxic you every single time in a row but the computer knows so it's basically like they choose the move after which is obviously not fair but whatever I'll try to figure out how to get around it I need to pump myself even further Okay, even further beyond. Okay. Time for that last full restore I have. And then we'll attack it. And hopefully that helps us with Manaphy. Of course, it's annoying and being poisoned, that's fine, but Ice Beam. Boudra's down. Now it's got Manaphy. So, no, I will not change Pokemon. If it goes for a Tail Glow, I think I got this. It didn't. I was faster! <laughs> GG! <laughs> Holy crap, that was annoying. But we got it. Sheesh! Alright, geez, when Diana phoned me up to tell me somebody beat her, I had no idea you were that good. Well, jeez, man, you really make it a challenge. You really are fantastic. You'll be a great addition to our group. Here's your badge. Thank you very much. This will let higher level Pokemon obey you. And just because I like you so much, have this too. Oh, TMO4 Calm Mind. I'm pretty sure I already had that. <laughs> no, maybe I didn't. I guess Gardevoir learned it on its own. Anyway, I know it's a bit odd for a Rain Leader to give you a Psychic TM. Good point. I promise you, though, it's a fantastic move. It's definitely worth having. Sure. It just doesn't make sense, though. Now, since the first Argor disappeared, we don't actually have an 8th Gym Leader for you to face. Okay. 
In the meantime, though, I guess you... Attention, please. Your attention, please. Broadcast starting in two minutes. Hmm. What? I'll be right back. What on earth? Hmm. Something's going down. Can I... No, I don't want to do that. I've got to check. Just walk out. Nice. Nora, what on earth is going on? Can I heal my Pokemon, though? Before anything crazy happens? Because I don't think like, I have anything left. It's the big TV on that tower. Someone's doing a broadcast. What? That's illegal. We haven't used that TV in years. Ahem. <laughs> oh, shit. You're ready to go, sir. Oh, great. Here we go. Thank you. People of Amphitrite City. You, you may recognize me. I'm Zachary, your friendly neighborhood librarian. I'm also in charge of spearheading the vaccine movement. It's our goal to shut out this uh, infernal deoxys disease from all over. However, there is one person who has resisted me time and time again. Not only is he unvaccinated, which is dangerous enough, but he's been trying to convince people to stay endangered. My friends, we cannot allow this to continue. You hate Cowreath now. Battle him into submission. Make him pay. Then bring him to me. Oh, jeez. Target him. His friends, his girlfriend, do this any way you can. This shit's getting dark, dude. Oh, and why not? Keep fighting the unvaccinated until all of Amphitrite City is safe. Sheesh. Uh, thank you for watching this emergency broadcast. Like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Diana, she's in danger. I need to go. Nora, ADHD man, in the mountains. That's where they are. I'll meet you there. I am so lost. What's going on? There's no way people will actually do that, right? How can Zenith possibly think this will work? Look, people are fighting. It actually worked! <laughs> ADHD man, I think we're in over our heads here. We can't hope to beat someone who could do something like that. I, uh... No, we can't give up. If there's a chance to win, we absolutely have to take it. I guess we have to climb Mount Rose. That's the way to Dayran Town. Uh, we're chosen by legends. Zenith doesn't stand a chance, right? Right. Well, these are probably all crazy people. Um, let's just heal up here. And uh, went a little over on this part, but it was worth it. So let's uh, end this part here and we'll pick it up next time. Going on to Mount Rose next.